Hello, it's uh, Carl Drone here, and today I'm going to be covering how you should be warding in the early stages of the game as a support player. Uh, I'm first going to start by covering how you should be warding as blue side, and then I'll move over to the wards you'll be using for red side. And the way I'll set this up is I'll start, I'll start by showing you what you should be warding when you're getting pushed in, so when the minion wave is here, when the minion wave is in the middle, and when you're the one pushing the enemy in, so when you're shoving the minion wave into the enemy turret. Okay, so the most common mistake I see by supports in lower reloads when they're getting pushed in is they'll put a pink ward in there, it gets instantly killed because the enemy has the control of the lane, and they just keep on throwing gold into this bush, right? So they throw down a pink ward, it gets killed, they lose gold, the enemy gets free gold. Don't be that, don't be that player. If you want to have a pink ward down when you're getting shoved in, it should either be in this location, so uh, your jungler can come in and counter gank if the if you're getting dove, or better, or what's usually better is having the pink ward in this position, which will stop the enemy mid laner from roaming through uh, your jungle. As for green wards, you pretty much always want to have whoops, you pretty much always want to have green in that bush, and you want to have your other green ward either in there. Or sometimes you won't even be able to run through there and place the green ward there. Then you're gonna push or place the green ward right there. And so the, the most com or what should be the most common setup for when you're getting shoved in is the green ward there, one green there or there if you can't get in in there, and then a pink there or there. Okay, and that's just setup for when you're getting shoved in as a support. Okay, so moving on, when the um, minion waves are meeting in the middle, you want to have the green ward in there. And a lot of times I see people placing green wards in here. This is usually only good for the um, the very early stages of the game, so like the first four minutes maybe. After that, you're going to want to place a green ward right there so that you see this area. You kill this, this uh, jungle plant so the enemy can't jump over. And then you're gonna have a pink ward, usually right around here, or right here. And by this, you're covered from the enemy roaming through their jungler, through through their jungle like this. You you can see the enemy support in who's probably sitting in this brush, and you can see the enemy mid laner if it's roaming through here. The only risk now is the enemy mid laner roaming through the river. Or the enemy jungler going through the river. Usually this is, or a lot of the time, this is uh, prevented by your mid laner usually having a ward in here, 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 or here. Somewhere in that area. Even if your mid laner does not have a ward there, it is likely that the enemy will assume that your mid laner has a ward there and so they won't try to gank you through those routes. And you'll also see when the enemy mid laner goes missing. And this is the... Uh, this should be the ward used when you're... When the mini waves are in the middle of the lane. Okay, and the final warding setup is gonna be for when you're pushing in to the enemy turrets. Upon the wind. Usually a good ward to have is a green ward right there, so the enemy jungler can sit here and jump over the wall. You're gonna want a green ward, hold on, spawn jungle plant, a green ward right there, and kill that plant, and then you're gonna have a pink ward, you can have a pink ward there, although that's usually not too effective because the enemy will probably have a ward in here, so even if you can sneak your jungler through there, through here, he'll be spotted right here, As you wish. so it's usually better to have your pink ward in this bush. And because your your bot lane is pushing in, the enemy won't be able to uh, contest this pink ward because your bot lane will be able to run there and defend it before the enemy bot lane. Breathlessly. Uh, also, a quick ward you can use sometime is throw a green ward over there, and you'll see when the enemy jungler is doing blue or romp, which gives you a lot of information on where they're going to be pathing. And this is your where your wards should be placed for when you're pushing. To the enemy turrets. 
Okay, so let's do the same for the when you're playing on the right side, and we'll do the same. We'll start with when you're getting pushed in, when the menu wave is in the middle, and when you're pushing the menu wave. Upon the so, wave. what you want to do when you're getting pushed in is try to have a pink ward in this bush so the enemy can't ward it. If you're really scared of getting dove, you may want to put a green ward over there. That's only if like the enemy mid is missing, or you know that the enemy jungler wants to dive you. Breathlessly. You want to have a pink or a green ward, sorry, in there, and you just place it right on the edge, and the wall pushes it out. And then you want a green ward right there, so the enemy support can't harass you as With easily. Ease. And those are pretty much the only wards you can really use for um, for when you're getting shoved in that red side. Okay, so when the minion waves are meeting in the middle, you have a few more options uh, on where you can ward on red side. Breathless. Usually what you'll see people will try and do is they'll try and green ward this right here, then, then find out that this has been pink warded, and this ward gets cleared out and they lose vision and they lose their ward. So if you know this is pink warded or it's likely to get pink warded, Upon usually better to just put your green ward right there and you get roughly or almost the same amount of vision. You want a green ward in there so you can see the enemy support when they're hiding in the bush. And for pink ward you have basically two main options. You can either put a pink ward in there, which is fairly common. Um, or you can put a pink ward in here and it gives you a bit more lane dominance because it basically stops the enemy from uh, harassing you when you're sitting in this bush. And those are the wards you can use for when the uh, lane is in the middle. Okay, so when you're playing red side and you're pushing into the enemy blue side turret, sometimes people like to put a pink ward in here. The issue with this is that it becomes very easy for the enemy to bait you into a 2v3 fight when your jungler is just hiding in here or somewhere there. So I usually don't put a pink ward in here. What you're gonna want to do is put a green ward in there. Um, you don't need a green ward in here because you're gonna be sitting in this bush. Um, it can be a good idea to put a green ward in there if the enemy jungler is trying to... Uh, or you if you're wish. trying to um, dive them and the enemy jungler wants to counter that. And your pink ward will usually be there. Or if you want to be a bit more defensive, it can be in there. Sometimes you can put a pink ward in here, especially if the if your jungler is coming to gank through this way. Only issue with this pink ward is the same as this. It makes you it makes it easy for the enemy to bait you into a fight when you're trying to defend your pink ward. And putting a pink ward inside this bush is pretty much useless because you're going to be fighting up here Sweetie. all the time because you're pushing the wave. And um, that's it. That, those are all the. Uh, the wards that I use on a daily basis when I'm playing support. Um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.